This is Britt Caswell with another example video. In today's video, I'm covering example 4 from section 8-4 in the Savas Realize Algebra 1 textbook. The goal of today's video is to fit a quadratic function to data. What that means is I'm doing something called quadratic regression. All right, so um, for this, I'm actually going into Desmos and I'm taking the data from example three and trying to show you how to create the line of best fit in Desmos. All right, so here I created the table. The way that you enter a table, by the way, is you click a box, you hit the plus and you hit table and it puts it in there for you, okay? Now down here, let me show you what I typed in to generate that, that curve that you saw. So I'm writing out what's called the standard form of the quadratic, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. But I'm just doing a couple of changes. Anytime I deal with an x or a y, I'm going to put this little teeny tiny 1 next to it. The way that you write that teeny tiny 1 is you hold down the shift key and you hit the underscore, which is next to 0. And then it, it takes you downstairs in the subscript so you can type that number. So when we put that tiny one on there, what it's doing is it's referencing this table. See how it says five element list? That's because it's saying, hey, look at this set of numbers, okay? So then I'm hitting my arrow key to get out of the subscript and I'm entering a tilde. To enter that tilde, you hold down shift and it's right next to the one button. Okay, now I'm putting in my AX squared. So when I put my AX squared, I need to put the little teeny tiny one before I put the square. Okay, so plus bx plus c. So that's what I type in. And it puts all this information down here. So I want to show you some of what they're saying here. So the first thing is they tell you these parameters. What these parameters are, are the values that we would put in to for a, b, and c to, to write our equation. All right. Now this r squared statistic, uh, there's a lot that you could learn about that. But understand, we want that r squared value to be as close to 1 as possible. Okay. If it was 1, that would mean that this curve went through every single point. On this one, it's saying it goes above some, it goes below some, but it's about where it's at. Okay. And so this would be my function that I would start to create. So I'm actually going to screenshot that and take it back to my Jamboard just so we could talk about it a little bit. Okay, so again, you want this close to 1. That stands for like the percentage of data that you can estimate using this model. So this is a 99% effective model. And so if I were to write out the function, I'd say my a value, which is negative 8 x squared plus b x plus c. So that would be my function. And so this is asking, it says, um, use, it wants us to figure out if the price increased one more time. They want us to know, you know, it's increased four times now, because we did zero through four. They want us to figure out f of five. So I would plug in a five into that function to calculate it. Now I'm lazy. You guys know I'm lazy. I, I do my best to be lazy. So here's what I'm doing is I'm just saying x equals 5 and figuring out where those intersect. So you could see it's $1,025.80. You can get that same thing by plugging 5 in and actually solving, okay? And so that's what the expected revenue would be. Now the thing is, is understand the ticket prices in this original problem would have now been $10 a piece because we just calculated this line. So 
our revenue should be in increments of 10. So we're off by a little bit. That's how you know that it's a, um, that's how you know this is an estimate. <laughs> and so here it says that this function is a good model of the relationship between the number of $1 increases in the predicted value. So it says use this model to determine the predicted revenue after the sixth and seventh price increases. So they are asking us to find f of six and f of seven. All right, so I could just go in since I have this here and find those intersections. So when I plug in six, I get $1,033. Sorry, my cat's laying on my keyboard a little bit. There we go. And when I plug in a 7, I get $1,024. So do you see how the expected revenue is starting to decrease? That's probably like a people's willingness to uh, spend money anymore. Okay, because if you make things too expensive, people won't pay for them. Unless it's an anomaly like the iPhone. Okay, so when our cost is too high, our actual revenue decreases. So there we go, guys. That is how to fit a quadratic function to data or how to do quadratic regression on Desmos at least. Remember, you can look at Savas to see how to do it on a TI. Until next time.